Lesson 45, adding and subtracting mixed numbers. In the last lesson, we learned about mixed numbers. Those are numbers like 3 and 1 half that have a whole number part and a fraction part. Well, sometimes we have to add two mixed numbers together. Let's look at an example like that. It took the clipper ship five and a half days to reach its first destination and eight and one-fourth days to reach the second. How many days did it take the clipper ship to reach both destinations? Here, what we need to do is add five and one-half to eight and one-fourth. And the way it's done is to just add the whole number parts first. The whole number parts are five and eight. So you take five plus eight, which is 13. And then we add the fraction parts second. The fraction parts are one-half from five and one-half and one-fourth from eight and one-fourth. So that gives us one-half plus one-fourth. And let's go ahead and add those together. The LCD of 2 and 4 is pretty easy. It's just 4. And there's no need really to go through our formal method for calculating the LCD here. But why don't you go ahead and multiply 1 half to make the denominators the same. And don't forget the law of equivalent fractions. Good. So that gives us 2 fourths plus 1 fourth. Now go ahead and add the fractions. Good. The whole number parts added to 13, remember, and then the fraction parts added to 3 fourths. The last step in adding these two mixed numbers is to just put the whole number and fraction answer together to make a new mixed number, 13 and 3 fourths. And that's the answer to the problem. It must have taken the clipper ship 13 and 3 fourths days to reach both destinations. The main point is that to add mixed numbers, just add the whole number parts and add the fraction parts and then put those together to create a new mixed number. What about subtracting two mixed numbers? Let's look at an example like that. Mrs. Gargantua had 19 and 5 six gallons of honey in her honey jar, but on Monday she used 14 and 1 third gallons for a recipe. How many gallons of honey does she have now? Here we need to subtract 14 and 1 third from 19 and 5 6. And you can probably guess how it's done. We just subtract the whole number parts, then we subtract the fraction parts. We'll start with the whole numbers. 19 minus 14 equals 5. And then for the fractions, we have 5 6 minus 1 third. Why don't you figure out what number to multiply the top and bottom of 1 third by to make the denominators the same? Good. But when we do that, that turns one third into two sixths. And then we end up with five sixths minus two sixths. Now go ahead and subtract the fractions. Good. So we end up with three sixths. As always, we have to fully reduce. Go ahead and reduce three sixths on your own. Good. So after subtracting the fraction parts, we get one half and we subtracted the whole number of parts already. And remember that was 19 minus 14, which came out to five. And so the last step is to put those together to make a new mixed number. We end up with five and one half. That's how many gallons of honey Mrs. Gargantua has now. And the main point of the example is that to subtract mixed numbers, you can just subtract the whole number of parts, then subtract the fraction parts and put those together.